This is Sam Drinks Beer, this is a beer review. So, so we've got a bit of something a bit different today from probably most of the things I've reviewed. Uh, we have a beer called Tint Meadow. It is a English Trappist Ale. A strong ale brewed by the monks of Mount St. Bernard Abbey, Charnwood Forest. Now, I believe this is the first and only Trappist ale that is brewed in the UK. Obviously, the Trappist ale is traditionally brewed by the Trappist monks in Belgium. With this beer, we have returned to a 19th century tradition of brewing in our abbey. When our brethren arrived in 1835, they settled in a poor cottage on Tint Meadow, now an extension of our monastic enclosure. This strong dark ale re-ferments in the bottle, store in a cool, dark, quiet place, pour gently at nine degrees. Quiet place? <laughs> Is it sensitive to noise? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's been the fridge, and I've had it out for about probably about an hour now. So I'm hoping it's probably might be coming towards my degrees. Maybe a little bit too cold. Uh, it's batch number sixty eight TM O sixty eight. Best before sixth of July twenty three. I know they do different batches, and they can be subtly different. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to this. Actually, I don't think it was stupidly expensive either. I think it was like three quid. So. From honest brew so um yeah i love it i love belgian style beers so that's quite barley wine like in the uh bottle so pouring a brown tea brown color oh it looks looks lovely don't it lovely color bubbles sticking to the side of the glass Lovely sort of tan, sort of slightly, sort of tanny, sort of maybe head. Lovely brown colour. Let's try and shine, see if I shine a light for it. Use my work phone as usual to. Oh, yeah, it's like a proper light. Sludgy brown. Like ready, well, really sort of red. Wow, that's beautiful looking there. Let's get the smell. It smells, yeah, slightly barley wine-like, in a way. It's 7.4%. Uh, yeah, it's slightly chocolatey. Malty. A bit of brown sugar. It's actually a little bit of like a brown ale type sort of smell as well. Maybe a bit of toffee, a bit of fruitiness. Oh, it smells lovely anyway, let's, let's dive in. Oh, that is nice. That is really nice. Maybe a little bit colder than it should be. This might be out in the fridge for about an hour, but roasty toasty, slightly burnt brown sugar. A touch of banana, toffee, caramel. Even though it's a Belgian sort of Trappist style beer, it's it does have that English, it does have a bit of an English twist on a sort of traditional Belgian beer. Because it's a real sort of brown ale like taste to it. Perhaps even a little bit, like I said on the smell, a little bit of barley wine like flavour. Perhaps a bit weak to be a barley wine at 7.4%, but. Esters. So malty. Ooh, 
I love a beer like this. You know, they're like a warm hug. Nice carbonation. Quite crisp as well. In a weird way. Bit raisin. Yeah, lots of dried fruit. Maybe a touch of rum as well. This is glorious actually. I absolutely love this. And for the amount of pay for it, like I said, I think it's about three quid. Don't have the exact price off the top of my head, but it is you know, it's a top, top, top quality beer. So well made. You know, for them to take sort of Belgian brewing traditions and sort of, you know, brew it in the UK, it's, yeah, it's very well done. Like I said, with that English twist, like an English ale. I mean, I'll certainly be getting, a, getting more of these and perhaps maybe, you know, I reckon this could be aged quite well, actually. Like I said, it re-ferments in the bottle. So, you know, that's the best before 2023 on it. But I'm pretty sure I'll be alright after that, you know. I'm pretty sure that's quite a conservative for sort of ABV, really. I think you could probably age this for several years. It's, it says authentic Trappist product on the bottom. That's interesting. But yeah, absolutely glorious beer. Uh, to rate it up, it's a well made, full of flavour beer. You know, it's one to really sort of, you know, it's one I can imagine sort of drinking in front of a fire. It's, it's like a warm hug. It's fantastic um, to rate it. I am going to give this. I could give it a straight five, you know. I absolutely love it. Well, my cat's causing all sorts of mayhem as usual. give it a 4.75 out of 5 I think that's a fair score it's fantastic and one I will definitely be uh, looking to purchase again in future certainly at the price point so yeah this has been the review of uh, Tin Meadow by St Bernardus Abbey a English Trappist Ale please check out my other videos uh, drop us a like Subscribe, click the bell icon, drop us your thoughts below, add me on the tab, somebody's been 93, follow me on Instagram, somebody's been YT, and hopefully I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.